Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, received at Al Safriya Palace in the presence of the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chief of Staff of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Lieutenant General Lia bin Sagr al Naimi. His Majesty the King was briefed about the plans to develop various branches and units of the BDF and provide them with the best and most advanced weapons and military systems in addition to the training programs for the next season. His Majesty the King expressed pride in and appreciation for the brave BDF personnel commending their outstanding competence in dealing with the latest weapons that are equipped with cutting-edge technology while undertaking their novel duties of protecting the kingdom's accomplishments and ensuring the security of citizens. His Majesty wished the, va the valiant BDF servicemen stationed in Bahrain and abroad continued success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 32 of the year 2022, appointing Dr. Mohammed Ali Bahzad as Under Secretary for Consular and Administrative Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 33 of the year 2022, appointing Jamal Abdul Aziz Abdul Ghaffar Al Alawi as Secretary General of the Tender Board. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 34 of the year 2022, appointing Anouf Abdul Rahman Jamshir as Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Market Regulatory authority for a three-year term. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 35 of the year 2022, appointing Ahmed Abdelaziz Ismail Al Khayyat as Chief Executive Officer of the Urban Planning and Development Authority. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 36 of the year 2022, appointing Sheikh Mishal bin Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa as Under Secretary at the Works Ministry. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 37 of the year 2022, appointing Usama Saleh Hashem Al Alawi as National Economy Under Secretary. Secretary at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 38 of the year 2022, appointing Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Stephen Bondi, at Ghibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain-U.S. strategic relations and emphasized the importance of further strengthening cooperation to achieve the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the efforts of the Kingdom in maintaining a Tier 1 status in the U.S. Department of State Trafficking and Persons report for the fifth consecutive year, the outcomes of the Jeddah Security and Development summit and the latest regional and international developments were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of Labour Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan and the Chief Executive of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, and Chairman of the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons, Jamal Abdelaziz Al Alawi, at Ghadibiya Palace. The meeting was held in recognition of Bahrain retaining its Tier 1 status in the U.S. Department of State's Trafficking in Persons Report for the fifth year in a row, the highest international annual rating in government anti-trafficking performance. His Royal Highness made clear that the protection of freedoms and human rights are core values of the Kingdom and incorporated in all policies, initiatives and programs reflecting the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness thanked Hamidan Al Alawi, the committee members, the Ministry of Labour employees, the LMRA and relevant government agencies who have worked year on year to strengthen Bahrain's efforts in combating human trafficking, a notable success for Team Bahrain. For their part, Hamidan and Al-Alawi expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness' ongoing support for the Kingdom's efforts in combating the trafficking in persons. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, also attended the meeting. The Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Amna Ramehi, held a meeting with the technical team concerned with the Government Land Investment Platform, which was launched last April within the Economic Recovery Plans Framework to enlist a number of lands owned by the Ministry in the platform. Al Ramehi affirmed the Ministry's keenness to achieve the best investment opportunities in housing lands through the platform, which enhances the partnership with the private sector to provide innovative housing op options that meet citizens' demands. The minister stated that the ministry is in the process of listing various lands to build housing projects in partnership with the private sector. Ramehi noted that the platform allows real estate development companies and contractors to view lands available for investment and implement projects. 
Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities won second prize in the Excellence Award in the Museum and Cultural Guidance in the category of Museums and Institutions, which was sponsored by the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization, Alexo. The organization announced the winners of the award in which 160 participants from various Arab countries were nominated. On this occasion, the general director of Alexo, Dr. Mohammed Awul Tamer, said that the program has increased the turnout in Arabian museums and gave the cultural guidance a chance to launch a number of leading initiatives. The general director noted that the program is considered one of the most important programs that were listed under the activities of the extraordinary ambassador for culture for AISCO. The Cultural Guide Program was launched as an initiative for ELSCO and in partnership with the Extraordinary Ambassador for Culture for IXO Program. In our international news, the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council, headed by Dr. Rashad al alemi expressed its thanks to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its continuous support to Yemen regarding the Kingdom's approval of the grant of oil derivatives to generate electricity in the amount of $200 million and the approval of a contract with a company to manage and operate Aden General Hospital at the expense of Saudi Arabia. In this regard, the Council instructed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates Affairs and the Ministry of Planning and International cooperation to prepare a program to follow up on the implementation of the results of visits to those countries and to speed up the absorption of pledges and declared economic aid. The project of the King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center Masam managed to clear Yemeni lands of mines during the second week of this month to extract 700 mines planted by the Houthi militia in various regions of Yemen. It extracted 320 anti-tank missiles and 380 unexploded ordnance. Massam's team managed to clear 54 anti-tank mines and 86 unexploded ordnance in Hadan Governorate, in addition to removing 266 anti-tank mines and 294 unexploded ordnance in Ma'rib Governorate. The number of mines removed during the month of July rose to 1,538, bringing the number of mines cleared since the beginning of the Masam project to 350,421 mines, which were randomly planted by the Houthi militia in all parts of Yemen to claim more innocent victims of children, women and the industry.